What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Blake with the Linux Fraud, and today we're going to be checking out a, a terminal-based application called Frogmouth. Frogmouth is a markdown viewer browser for your terminal. You can only view markdown files, so it's it's specifically for markdown files, but I thought it was kind of a cool little application. Uh, it comes with kind of like a, a, a nerd tree type file manager within it. And yeah, I figured why not uh, make a quick video and show you guys what it's all about. So I'm going to run through the installation process really quick and um, then we'll uh, then we'll open it. I've got a couple not very detailed test files, some markdown files that we can uh, check out. So let's do it. The first thing that we have to do is now we do have to install this with either pip or pip x. I'm going to use pip x just because it installs it in a uh, isolated environment. And the way to install pip x, as you can see over here, what we're going to do is we'll open up a terminal. And we're going to type in python 3-m pip install dash dash user pip x. Now that that's installed, we can run python 3-m pip x ensure path. Now I am going to log out really quick. All right, now we're back. I just had to log out, log back in, just so that we could use pip x. So now what we're going to do is type pip x install frogmouth. That's just going to take a second to install. All right, so now that's installed. We're going to jump over to, we're going to jump over to this directory that I have, and we've just got a sample readme and then i've also tried to uh, make a markdown file that has some python code in it i don't know if it's going to work but i just wanted to see what happens i just threw it into chat gpt had them spit out a little markdown file that was um, containing some python code i just wanted to see what would happen so first thing that we're going to do is check out this readme file i want i want to show you guys what it what it looks like right so right here this is frogmouth so it's got the headers it's got the lists and everything so you can see this is just like a quick little markdown guide um, I also threw this into chat GPT. I just wanted, I wanted something that had, that had some detail in it, just so you guys could get a, um, an idea of what this application looks like. Got your description, your headers, you got your lists. It's kind of acting a little laggy here for me. This is the first time that uh, I installed it on my main system. Usually I was running it in VMs because I didn't really feel like installing like pip x and all that and installing anything with, with pip, but, um, you know what, I just decided, forget it, we're just going to install it on my main system because I do think that this is something that I would use here and there. I don't think it's going to be something that I use all the time uh, because I don't really mind just viewing a markdown file like in NeoVim or uh, Doom Emacs or anything. I don't mind doing that. But I think that if you need something that um, looks a little bit better, I think this is not a bad little application. So that's, I mean, it's pretty straight to the point. This is what it looks like. This is Frogmouth. Now let's go over here to the help and just see they've got some navigation keys, uh, you know, hot keys and whatnot. You've got control N to show or hide the navigation. Now the navigation is the, the little file manager and I'm gonna show you that here in a second. You can show bookmarks, local file browser. You can actually browse your local files, right? So you can open it up and it looks just like, uh, like NerdTree does for NeoVim. You can show history, table of contents. The table of contents is kind of cool. I'll show you that here in a second. What that basically does is just if you have, a, like this readme file is open, right? If I was to show the table of contents, here, you know what, I'll just do it. Control T, so I go Control T, and right here you can see on the side, I've got a little table of contents of this markdown file. So if I click down here at license, it'll jump all the way down to that header. I can jump back up here, installation, it's gonna jump right up to installation. I think that's kind of cool. So that's the that's the table of contents. Pretty simple and straight to the point. I, 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 think, it, I think it really works. You can also go up here to local. It, it's your home folder, right? So you can go here, you can see everything that's down here. Um, for some reason, I've noticed that it actually, and I don't know why, I don't, if there's a reason for it and anybody knows, then let me know down in the comments, but it duplicates the, the directories. So you can see I got applications, audio, 
then down here, applications, audio. So it duplicates it. I don't know if that's a bug. I would assume that's a bug. I don't understand why it would be like that. But regardless, you can still browse your local file manager. We can go down here. I have a directory called frogmouth. Open this up. Now we're going to try to open this pi.md. This is the file that has... Um, it's literally just like one line of Python code. I just wanted to see what it looked like. I wonder if you put it in like a block or something, if it would, but I didn't do that. So this is the pi.md file that I threw into chat GPT and it spit out for me. So you can see Python code and markdown explanation. You've got all your headers and that's really, that's really all this application is. It's just a markdown viewer. In your terminal so that's why this video is not super long because there's really not that much to go through i just thought it was a pretty interesting little application and i just wanted to share it with people there's not much to show because there's just not much there it's just a markdown viewer and i i think for what it is it's not bad it's not bad at all i think it's something that i would use here and there um and i think it's something that i'm going to keep on my system that is the video short simple sweet just wanted to show you guys um yeah go ahead and uh Check it out if you guys like it. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned anything, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button because it really helps me out. And stay tuned because we have a bunch more content coming your way.